What we are trying to do in our country is, and that connects already to curious minds later on, that the children are living in a spatial environment from day one. And they have excellent spatial intuitions. You know that, for instance, because, you know, I don't know in the United States, but in the Netherlands, people are very well behaved. So Sunday after church, they go to their parents-in-law with the kids, right? I hope you do that too. <laughs> and sometimes there is a roadblock because they are repairing something. The two-year-old in the back of your car will say, Mom, Dad, why aren't we driving the usual way? And you ignore it, or you say there is a roadblock, and then you continue. You're missing a huge opportunity to facilitate the spatial reasoning capabilities of your child. This is high-level mathematics. They don't need a Tom Tom or a Garmin, like we all do, right? And that continues and continues. So our philosophy in the Netherlands is, OK, grasping space is foremost important. Freudenthal was famous for that expression. I love it. Grasping space. Where are my favorite toys? Imagine you have a house with 40 rooms. I can bet you that your three-year-old will know exactly what the sweets or his favorite toys are after you show them once, in three dimensions. It's incredible. The next phase is that you have to quantify that three-dimensional world around you. You know, it's very important to know, for instance, that I'm about uh, a feet high here uh, above you. Because if I don't realize, I might you have to call 911 in five minutes, right? What is the distance for me to a door? How steep is the slope? You need to quantify your spatial environment, and in order to do so, you need measurement, right? So a feel for distance, for sizes, for volumes, etc., for lengths, is something that comes in naturally if you explore the world around you. So the need for quantification, measurement, you need numbers. Isn't that nice? Because that's what curricula are all about, <laughs> right? So we don't start there in the first place. There is so much to explore for children to do so.